I swear sometimes I just hate the fact I got sucked into the whole sneaker game because the shoes just never stop. They never stop. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Comme des Garçons shirt X A6 Gel Like 3. Let's get it. So like I said at the start of this video, the shoes, they just keep coming out. You forget a pair's coming out and then you're just like... I said to myself, I always say to myself, I'm going to slow down. I need to downsize my collection. It's getting out of hand. And then another pair comes out and then I cop it and I'm just like, what are you going to do? This is a pair that I pretty much forgot about. It was like really early in the year, like January, February time. I saw this shoe pop up on the blogs and whatnot. I think it was Passion, uh, Paris Fashion Week or something like that. They showed it, the like, Comedy Gas on shirt showed it, and I was like, ooh, these are fire. When I first saw it, I obviously thought it was like a Bape collab because that pattern just gave me Bape vibes, but it wasn't a Bape collaboration, but it kind of totally was off my radar. This year when it came to A6, all I was thinking about was the Sean Wolverspoons, which I took an L on, and then the three Ronnie Five pairs, which I took three L's on. So that was pretty much it. I wasn't really thinking of any other A6 that were coming out. And then about three, two, three days before the shoe released, one of my boys was chatting to on Instagram. He sent me the picture and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that shoe. Did that come out? Did it not come out? I didn't even think to Google information on it that day, whether it was coming out soon or whatnot. To be fair, there isn't really that much information on the shoe in general. And then it turns out, two days later, Offspring posts, bang, the shoe's in store right now to collect. And I was like, I'm at work. I was literally at work and I was spared the whole morning, which meant that I could have probably sneak off and got the pair and came back to work calm and nobody would have known. But I found out just as I had to start my shift. So I was like, it's not going to happen. Oh, well. Then the next day, they released it on the website. My boy managed to get a pair. I was off that day and managed to go to Offspring and I got my size. So happy days for me. Anywho, let's show you the shoe and give you some details. But as I said, there's not much information out there. So I can just give you what I can see. Let's get it. So you know, this is a official collab when you get a different kind of box. And this box actually says A6 and Comme des Garçons shirt on the side of it, which is a cool touch. The rest of it has all these images that I have no idea, no idea what they're supposed to represent at all. Uh, if you're not familiar with CDG or Comme des Garçons in general, it's a Japanese brand. They've got loads of different branches of CDG stuff. The main one that you see is CDG Play, which is the one with that red sort of heart, die, um, heart logo. But this is um, Comme des Garçons shirt, which was made literally just for making shirts but they've expanded it into all other stuff so they've done a collaboration now with asics i believe back in the day they did collaborations with supreme and i think vans but it's been a while now so it's been a while since they did a collaboration with a shoe company so cool that they did it with another fellow japanese brand in asics uh, on the box itself joe light free og colorway is multi obviously because there's a lot going on and i got this shoe in a uk 10 I get all my A6 in a UK, UK 10, which is true to size, but I would ideally get a 10 and a half because A6, unlike Nike, the UK 10 or US 11, whatever you want to call it, is in centimeters, which is a Japanese size, a 28.5, whereas Nikes are a 29. So it's that little tiny bit tight or um, snug. So half size up would have been great, but looking online, I didn't see half size half sizes anywhere, so I don't know if that even existed. So kind of got to take what you can get. As I said, no information on what these designs are supposed to be on this box. I'll, hopefully you can see it and maybe someone out there can tell me what they are getting from this. I have zero clue. But anywho, can I open up the box, show you the shoes. Let's go. And boom, here is the shoe in all of its crazy, craziness there's a lot going on it's very out there i must say but i'm digging it anywho let's get some close-ups with the shoe and tell you some of the details so silhouette wise on the shoe it is your standard a6 gel light three so you get the tiger stripe logo on the sides there but the main thing that you would 
decipher what makes an A6 drill light 3, a drill light 3 is the split tongue. So it comes with your standard split tongue, which is something that a lot of people find funny, find it hard to get used to, especially someone like me who's got wider feet where I've got no arches. So I think that's what makes my feet wider than normal. So getting it snuggy snug, like proper clothing like this is probably hard on someone that has got wide feet. But if you've got little slim feet, it's going to be easy touch. Some people don't like it when it looks a bit spread out like this on the foot, but it is what it is. You just got to deal with it. But yeah, what makes this shoe cool, from what I can tell online anyways, is this pattern, which is similar to what happened in my last video for those dunks that came out, is I think they use like one sheet of material for this. So the pattern is varied on all the different pairs. Because looking online, some of the pairs I've seen have had more of like a pink toe box compared to this one, which is more of a green on this pair and more of like an orangey red on this pair right here. So I think it varies between the different sort of pairs throughout the shoe pretty much so each shoe is going to be unique obviously you don't really get a choice in which one you pick up because I don't think these are the most accessible shoe ever I don't think many people got that many pairs I think at Offspring alone I would be surprised if they got like over 20 30 pairs to be honest because it seemed like pretty much a pretty re uh, limited release but yeah um, details of this shoe the toe box is done in this sort of mesh material it's not like a breathable mesh I don't even know what you would call it but it's super soft feels very nice it reminds me of the a6 gelat free medieval blue they call them the france i think they were a kiff exclusive but they have this same sort of nice material on there towards the side of the shoe the tri the tiger strike logo it's done in white behind it has that same crazy pattern and one of the coolest features is right here on this midsole it actually says comme des garçons shirt which is very, very cool. And it goes with all these crazy patterns, boom, right into the sole of the shoe where it's green and orange. Other than that, it's pretty much uh, all in this sort of nice, lovely gray, which is sort of big at the moment, obviously with New Balance and all their gray kicks like flying off the shelves. <laughs> uh, this is a nice gray done in this nice A6 suede. Is this the material that you find on a lot of the A6? A6 and Sacconi, I always say it. Or Sockany, they always smash it with the materials and they smash it again if this the gray materials on this is very nice and plush the uh, back of the shoe Says a6 gel if you don't know gel is their um, technology for the sole which makes these shoes comfortable uh, Don't know what you'd compare it to maybe Nike air kind of similarish feel but it's a very comfortable runner uh, It comes with these white laces and you get spare laces, which are in this green colorway. When I was looking at this shoe, for some reason, the pink bits stand out the most to me. On some of the images I saw online, which had the pink toe box, it looked way nicer. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if it's gonna be too crazy, but I think I might throw in some pink laces inside this shoe and it might set it off and make it look super duper fire. I don't know, tell me what you think. I think it might make it pop off. They're already crazy as it is. I don't think you can get any madder than this. But comparing the two different um, colours, as I was saying, because each one's individual. You can see the difference on the toe box there. The side pattern here is more green, whereas on this side, the midsole is more pink. One thing that scared me when I first opened the shoe, because I think I saw the left shoe first, was the toe box. There is this little, hopefully you can see it on the camera, not focus on my face. Can you see that little spot there on the toe box? I saw it and I was like, um, is that going to come off? I thought someone had like literally like dropped a, like a little dot of bleach or something on the shoe, but it's literally part of the pattern. There's little circle patterns all over this shoe. So it's a bit of a crazy one. There isn't any rhyme or reason behind it. I know Comedy on shirt is about doing sort of loud and wild shirts and whatnot so maybe this is something they've done before obviously they've done woodland camo and this one is kind of like woodland camo but taken up another notch with all these crazy oranges reds greens pinks grays and blues i don't know there is no story behind it that i can find but i think it's pretty fire uh, inside the shoe itself it says a6 and comme des garçons shirt again it's a fire shoe one thing though, 
the price um, is two hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, uh, I didn't read that one. <laughs> When I first saw it pop up on Offspring, I didn't even look to see what the price was. I was just like, I want it, I want it, I want it, because I wanted it. And then when I was looking online, I saw two sites that had it. God knows what they were. I'd never even heard of them before. But they both had them for like £219. And I was like, surely that's not the price. I don't know why they're charging that much. So I'm not even going to try to buy it. I really probably should have at the time because I wasn't going to be able to make it to the store at that time. But... When I was searching again, I found it on some other site and it said like £170 and it was sold out. And I was like, maybe £170 is the price. That's a bit more realistic, even though ASICs are generally like 130 ish not like 170 or 200 It's a bit crazy. But it is what it is. I guess it's because it's Comme des Garçons and it's more of a high fashion thing, I guess. Uh, is it worth the price? Money is what you uh, make of it, I guess. If you can afford it and you like it, it's worth the price. People pay way more for shoes on resale. A pair of Yeezy 700s, which I've got way too many pairs of, by the way, are like 250 retail, so I can't be mad. I paid 200 plus for a pair of Air Max on resale before, and it went as far as this, so paying 220 retail. It is what it is. I'm happy to have them. Um, I still hope to pick up my um, Sean Wolverspoons one day. The price seems to be just not coming down fast enough for me. I'm not paying £400. I'm not up for it. If anyone can find a good trade for me, I'll do it. But trades are hard to come by these days. Anywho, hopefully you enjoyed this um, review. And hopefully if you have any more information on the shoe that I don't have, please tell me because I would love to know. Some of the bits I'm missing, if there's more of a story behind this that I've just somehow not seen because I literally have checked all the main blogs that would mention the shoe and no one has said a goddamn thing about the design of this. So, I don't know. Anywho, follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers, for dope pictures and whatnot. And obviously like, comment, subscribe to this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm out. Later, y'all.